Hey guys, so about six months ago I designed a four-in-one collector and this is used for turbo manifolds. And the way I made that is we have a block of wood with a piece of steam pipe. I've got the screw there so it goes in the same depth each time. And after that we get the pen and mark out like so. And then cut that out with the end grinder, do that four times and we end up with this. So this works great, um, the cuts inside are, I don't know if the light's going to be able to show you there, cuts inside, they all line up perfect. Um, I've had a customer come in now, he wants a manifold done for his Skyline, which all you know is an RB and they're a 6 into one collector. Fortunately you can't get a six sided piece of wood, so I got my buddy Ryan down south to 3D print this and the same concept, you slide a piece of steam pipe in, you then do your measurements and cut that out, do that six times and you end up with a perfect six into one collector. So I'm going to chop this up today and we're going to make one of those. So with this revolutionary 3D printing now it means that we can do two into one, we can do three into one. Um, I'm going to redo my wooden jig so we have a perfect four into one collector, six into one, eight into one, you know it's really endless. So. We're going to do this today and then see how, um, see how it turns out. So we have plastic jig, steam pot, and precision measurements. So with that, oh, where are we going? So with that, we're ready to chop out. Sick. So I've marked this inner piece with X's on there so I know that's just waste and we can pretty much throw that straight in the bin. So what's left now is the first piece to the collector. So we need to clean up the edges now to get all the um, sharp spots off it. So while I got that sitting there, you can actually see how precise that cut is down there. And that's just the end run, it's perfect. Check the other side too. Yeah, it's spot on. Perfect, no more sharp edges in there. Now we just need five more. And there we have it, the six and one collectors all done. It's turned out very, very close. I mean, when we weld it, it's gonna fill up those tiny gaps there, um, but just in general, like it's perfectly symmetrical. Um, the lengths are exactly the same. The collected area is just about perfect. So I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. So as usual guys, like, share, subscribe, send this to your grandma, who knows, she might be trying to make herself a six in a one exhaust. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.